Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us for Perspectives 2016. My name is Lauren Dorman, and I'm the director here of the NAVGP practice. I've been working with accounting software and product development for over 20 years. Today I'm joined by Sarika Krishnan. She is our director of support, and she has over 10 years experience in ERP design and implementation life cycles. Here at RAND Group, our mission is to help people use technology for business success. In today's session, we're going to focus on how we can use Dynamics NAV to do just that. Now, over the years, Microsoft has been doing a phenomenal job with the solution, and as Heather presented this morning, it just keeps on getting better. Their continued investment on the user experience across platforms and technologies helps simplify and streamline procedures and drives productivity across your business. Now, while there are many areas within NAV that can help improve visibility, reduce costs, or help drive revenue, there are several that we commonly see implemented by our clients. One great area that everyone should consider is business intelligence reporting, which Ellen covered in the last session. This is where all of your past and present data becomes valuable information for your future. Two other areas that can have a dramatic impact on your bottom line revolve around inventory and labor. And this is where Sarika and I will focus during this breakout session. In both presentations, we will show you what is available today, what you can accomplish tomorrow, and where the future will take you. So my session will focus on managing inventory and Sarika will show you how to manage timesheets. Within Dynamics NAV, there are really multiple levels of inventory management. The first of which is basic inventory management, which we see implemented most often amongst our clients. As your business becomes more complicated and your warehousing needs grow, we have a granule by NAV called Advanced Warehousing. Finally, we're going to talk about remote warehouse management. This is a solution built by RAND Group that can truly help streamline processes within your warehouse. Now let's start with basic inventory control. Basic inventory control is really focused around three primary items. What do I have? How much do I need? And how do I reorder it? That information starts with our item card. Our item record is our master record within inventory. It's focused around how are we stocking it? How are we purchasing it? What is our cost? What are our purchase prices as well as sales prices? Our reordering parameters, as well as whether or not the inventory is unserialized or quantity tracked, serialized, or it can be lot tracked. Once we've defined the basic parameters around the item card, we then use some basic transactions to both purchase, transfer, and sell inventory. We start with the purchase order. Now our purchase order is focused around who we are purchasing from, when can we expect the goods to be received, as well as what we're receiving. From there, we simply do a receiving against the purchase order. And as soon as we've done that, inventory is updated. So now our quantity on hand uh, shows that we've received the goods and it's now available either for sale to a customer or for use in assemblies or manufacturing. The opposite side of the purchase transaction is when we're selling goods to our customers. When we're doing that, we're indicating what it is that we're selling, how many, which location, if we have multiple locations we're selling from, and when the customer is expecting to receive the goods. Now, when we're using basic inventory, we tend to use paper trails to move inventory from our warehouse and out the door to our clients. And here we can see a picking list by order report, which shows us who we're selling to, where it's expected to go, and the number of units that should be picked. This paperwork is handed back into the office where we record the shipment against the sales order. That relieves our inventory. Now, as your business becomes more complicated and we need to track where everything is within the warehouse, that's where advanced inventory control from NAV comes into play. Now, when we have warehouses, we have three primary things that we have going on. First, we have goods coming in from our supplier that we need to receive and then put away. 
We then have movements that happen within the warehouse, whether we're picking inventory items so that we can sell it to a customer or we're moving it into a manufacturing process. And if we're manufacturing, we also need to make sure that we're moving it and then we're putting it away within the warehouse. And then finally, we ship our goods out to our customers. Now these challenges can be managed and monitored by the advanced warehousing granule within NAB. Now as your warehousing needs grow and your warehouses become larger, it's extremely important that we know where everything is and that we put it in the right place so that we can effectively move inventory in and out of the warehouse. With advanced warehousing, first we're going to track the physical characteristics of the warehouse. And then secondarily, we have the ability to track the inventory movements, um, inbound, outbound, physical inventories, as well as bin movements. Let's start with the physical characteristics. Within NAV, we'll define each warehouse that you have within your business. From there, we'll define the different zones within the warehouses, whether you have picking zones or staging zones or receiving. It's important that we're indicating where within the warehouse the goods are moving. And then finally, we'll define the bin structure that you have within each location. Once we've defined those rules, our ultimate goal here is to get to knowing within each warehouse, within each zone and bin, exactly what can we expect to find there, what goods or inventory items are there, and what are the quantities that we can expect to find. <laughs> this all starts with your warehouse worker within Dynamics NAV. Here, their role center, which acts as their home page, shows them the tasks that they are expected to do for the day. Our warehouse receivers are generally used for purchase orders or transfer orders, and here we're indicating what we're expecting to receive in from the supplier or from the transfer order. And when we post that receiver, we're updating the purchase order to indicate that the goods have arrived. But once they've arrived, we have now need to put them away. Our put-away transaction is designed to indicate to your warehouse worker where we need to take and place the goods within the warehouse. Now the opposite side of those transactions is, is when we're moving goods out of our warehouse, and that's where our warehouse pick document comes into play. The warehouse pick indicates what the, which zone and bin within your warehouse we need to go and pick our inventory items and where we need to place them within the facility. Once we've moved those goods, we then have the ability to ship them out to our customers. So between those different transaction types, we can monitor the physical movement of all of the inventory. Next, I'd like to talk about the Remote Warehouse Management Solution by RAND Group. Now, we talked before about the major transactions within your warehouse. Now, as your business grows and the transaction volume scales, your goal is to make sure that you're tracking and moving the inventory in the most efficient manner to control your operating costs. And this is where RAND Group's Remote Warehouse Management Solution really drives value to the bottom line. Our Remote Warehouse Management application is an extension of Dynamics NAV, which means that we're using all of the rules and business logic, logic found within the Advanced Warehousing Granule. The value in that is that we're simply building off all of the tools and technologies your business already owns. From here, you'll notice remote warehouse management is designed with a remote worker in mind. Notice that we have large buttons to make it easy and intuitive for your users to be able to do their job. Remote warehouse management can handle all the same transactions that we saw within advanced warehousing, including inbound and outbound transactions, as well as warehouse management movements. Remote Warehouse Management is designed for a touchscreen device with a connected scanner to help simplify and improve accuracy of the transactions. Now from my main menu, I can simply select My Assignments. When I'm in My Assignments, I can see the transactions or the work that I've been assigned. I can see receivers, putaways, picks, as well as shipments. Let's go through a few of the transaction types. First, when I look at receipts, I can see those items that I'm expecting to receive in from the transaction. In this case, we have five pieces that are expected to come in. As I'm using the receipts, I can see the items, how many I have pending, as well as the receiving bin that I should be receiving into. 
Now, if the goods that you're receiving happen to be serialized, you can either scan in single mode scan, or you can change it to continuous mode, simply by scanning one serial number after the other after the other. Once we've recorded all of the units that have been received, we can simply post the receipt. By posting the receipt, we're updating our purchase order live, real time, into NAV. This is not a synced system and not a sync solution. It is a live connection to your database. Next, when we talk about putaways, we can see the items that we need to put away and where within the warehouse we should be doing that. Now, picture your warehouse worker walking around with a portable device and as they're actually moving goods from one place to the other, we're simply recording the transaction in real time. No need to walk to a workstation within the warehouse, log in and record the fact that I've done the work. Once we've recorded that we've put it away, we simply post it. Our next transaction is the picking transaction. We're telling our warehouse workers where we need to go take the goods from and where we need to place them. When we're taking things, we can either do them as a full transaction or we can add to an existing transaction in the event that we need to make multiple trips, depending on the size of the goods that we're moving. And once we've completed that, we can post it. And finally is our shipment transaction. Now with our shipment transaction, we do have the ability to add pallets so that if you have multiple goods going out onto a single pallet that you're wrapping, we can indicate how many pieces are on each pallet number. Once we've completed that, we can post our transaction. Now with Advanced Warehousing Granule and Remote WMS, you'll find that you're able to reduce your labor costs. You're going to improve the transactions that you're recording in the system because you'll be doing them in real time and scanning will actually improve the accuracy. And when you're comfortable and confident that the inventory is where you're expecting it to be, you'll have greater confidence to commit to a customer sales order. With Advanced Warehousing, Dynamics NAV, and the Remote Warehouse Management Solution, you'll have the control for today, tomorrow, and out into the future.